Okay, this is Ed Jacoby. This is the follow-up to the previous Part 1 overview of the DW7187 laser for the compound miter saw of DeWalt. Just to review, uh, I have the saw plugged in. I have the trigger lock in place so I can activate the saw. I turned on the laser power system and I took out the hex wrench. The adjustments that are going to be made are only three. I'll quickly show you on this board in front of me. Uh, right here, perpendicularity, which is the top adjustment. Okay, in the front is parallelism, which is the second adjustment. And the last adjustment here is the kerf adjustment. Okay, now, before you start, you want to make sure that your laser is clean, so they recommend using a Q-tip and reaching underneath this, the blade guard and cleaning the lens of the laser from any sawdust that may have accumulated. Okay, they also recommend cleaning the blade of the saw and they recommend taking the blade off. I'm not going to do that today. Uh, but I have cleaned the blade and the lens. The first um, adjustment we're going to make is the perpendicularity adjustment, which with the saw unlocked and up, you're going to place a piece of stock no taller than six inches high and place it next to the blade. Okay, this is next to the blade. Now, a good adjustment will wrap around in the sense that you'll see it on top and as you travel down, you'll see it all the way down. Okay, I had adjusted this before filming. Okay, so that's really what you're shooting for there. It does take a little time. Okay, the second adjustment is going to be the parallelism adjustment, which you're going to now take the same stock and lay it down with the unlocked saw in the up position, and you're going to bring your blade down. Okay? You can see where the laser line is directly at the edge of the wood. And I'm going to move it a little bit. And you can see how it wraps around into the front. Okay? So that's your parallelism adjustment. Sorry about that. The last adjustment is the kerf adjustment, where you place the saw down, lock it in place, and you look at your adjustment here. Alright, and that looks good as well. So, that's all for today. I hope that clears up some of the um, enigmas that came with the instruction manual. Um, and uh, that's all there is for now. Have a great day and good talk.